overall leakage see till now we looked at bit line leakage only now this is we talking about overall leakage hmm and what we are saying is that all of devices have leakage and even on devices have junction leakage so to reduce overall leakage what do you want you want all devices to be kept as small as possible and you want the length to be as large as possible so that you can reduce sub threshold leakage of the off devices and you also want the gate leakage to be reduced so you want to use thick gate oxides not all of it you can do but these are the set of constraints that are there on the sizing part if you keep the device as small the leakage would also be small so area would also be less so this is something that we will definitely want to do but we will not keep minimum length in our devices we will use long channels long channels means length is greater than minimum length of a technology so as a rule of thumb typically what is observed is that in 65 nanometer technology length of the all the different devices is 80 to 90 nanometer in 45 nanometer technology the length is 60 to 65 nanometers in 90 nanometer technology the length used to be 100 to 120 nanometers so never do you use minimum length of any given technology as the length of devices in your memory cell okay so these are some empirical numbers some numbers that that i am giving you now what this means is that when we want to size the pass gate we say snm is better than when pass gate is smaller than pull down a large pass gate means high drive current but a small pass gate means difficulty in write operation if the pass gate is large bit line leakage is also very high pass gate is large also means bit line load is high so access time again degrades so if i say i would want to keep a large pg to have faster access that is not really not going to happen hmm so since cell stability is a very critical parameter we we as of now just conclude that pass gate is to be kept weaker than the pull down is this clear so whatever we discussed in the figures of merit now i'm just trying to summarize them for sizing the devices in a memory memory cell is this okay hello yes sir hmm now if we come to the pull down then we say snm is better than when pull down is strong pull down has to be stronger than the pass gate that is what we just saw but we also discussed that if the pull down is very very large then what happens uh, the other side can turn on very easily so we don't want a very large pull down also pull down large pull down also has a direct impact on area so while you want pull down to be large you cannot keep it to be very very large so in fact in a memory cell pull down is the strongest device in a memory cell but it is still a small device it cannot be very big device okay so in 65 nanometer technology when you will work on your projects you have to ensure that your pull down is the largest or the strongest amongst all the other devices but still it is less than say 300 nanometers or uh, less than 250 nanometers definitely not more than this size okay now pull up sizing everything said and done we saw that uh, you know small pull up easier write operation snm has uh, not much role to play like just pull down and pass gate had a role to play there if we manage their sizing snm is largely taken care of so we want to keep pull up as weak as possible okay in fact pull up is the weakest device in the memory cell uh, you can you will probably use a pull up of size 0.120 you know microns so 120 nanometers 
If that is not allowed, 135. Whatever is the minimum size allowed, that is the minimum width you will use for the pull-up layer when you will design memory cell in your projects. Okay. Sir, so, yes. Sir, in the previous slide, I have some questions, sir. So the PU sizing, sir. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so here you have written that small PU is your right operation. So, sir, it is we are considering here when we are writing the zero, right, sir? Yeah, right margin. That. Yes. So, but like, right uh, so, but like, if we have a uh, when we are considering the small PU, the zero will be written faster. But when you are writing the one, then I need a large PU. So this, yeah. this, this so what is important? Do you want to be able to write a zero or a one? What is most important? What do you write into the memory cell? Essentially write a zero, then one yeah. gets. So zero. zero has to be written easily, is it not? So so I'm basically based upon that, I'm saying small PU should be. Yeah. Okay. See, and being yeah, able so. to write is functionality. The other aspect is only timing. Performance. Hana? Functionality to chahiye chahiye na? You need functionality for sure. Performance comes next. Okay, so this small PU will ensure my functionality. You tell me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, the other this other PU size basically ensures my the time. Performance. The performance. Okay. So functionality is more important than performance. For first, it has to be functional. Then you think of performance. Yes, sir. And so okay. this uh so. Uh, this first line, sir, first point, SNM is better when PU is strong. So this point is not clear, sir. So in SNM, what were you trying to do? So we generally looked, when you uh, looked at that, the VX bump was should be as small as possible. Yeah. So Why that, okay. if, if VX bump increases, what happens? The subthreshold so the, current of the pull down increases the on current of the pull up. That was what we were discussing. Na? The on current of the pull up is lesser than the sub threshold current of the pull down. So, the sub threshold current of the uh, NMOS. Yeah. We saw na, that if this VX is, even if this VX is small, it would happen that the sub threshold current of this NMOS is greater than the on current of the pull up. Yes, sir. If it is more, yes. Anna? Yes. So what we are saying is, if this pull-up is able to sink more current, even if there is some larger VX over here, I will not have a problem. Okay. So, sir, basically, my it will help my enhance my stability. Yes, that is what is written. Yeah, sir. But then. Uh, in the earlier slide, you mentioned that stability is the critical parameter, but I still am sizing the PG to be very small, the most small device. So PG, it, no? Uh, sorry, sir, PU, sir, PU. Yeah, and, because uh, what we say is influence of PG and PD is very high on SNM. This is the primary factor. This is the secondary factor. Okay. PU strong is secondary for the stability. Okay. Obviously, no? it is secondary. No? Okay. You're able to see this. Vx, when does PU come into picture? When Vx goes high. If I do not let Vx go high, will PU come into picture? No, no, sir. That is it. Okay. 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 Sir. Yes, sir. Got it, sir. Thank you. So, even though they appear to be six devices, mm -hmm. do you realize that uh, there is a whole lot of game happening there? Designing these six devices and a memory cell in these six devices is not a simple task. Are you?